Good morning, guys. It's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, my light is deciding to work today. Let's hope it doesn't flash back and forth and creep everybody out. <laughs> but hey, guys, it's Mandy. So um, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I took a break and... Um, I, this is my first video back since I took my break. It wasn't a long break. I think I didn't make a video for three days. Um, so I just want to thank everybody that was praying for me or sending me messages. A lot of you sent me private messages that were really sweet. Um, and I just want to thank each and every one of you. Um, I'm kind of going through a pretty bad spot of depression right now. Um, it's, it, you know, I'm, um, I'm on medication for it. I, I am diagnosed, I, I have been officially diagnosed with, you know, anxiety and depression. I take medication for it, but even when you're on medication, um, you can still go through bad spots of it. Um, and unless you want your medication to constantly have to be adjusted, it's just, this is, this is what, you know, it's just, it's just part of it. It's part of living with it. Um, and I went through, um, am going through a pretty bad spot of it. Um, there's a situation going on, um, that kind of put me into a, a really bad a place of anxiety and worry. Um, it has nothing to do with Joe or, you know, us or, or my job or anything like that. We're fine. Joe and I are perfectly fine. We're, um, we're good. It's something entirely else. That's, uh, it's just making me worry and just have all this anxiety and, when I get really anxious, my depression just goes, I mean, it just, you know, through the roof. It, it's just, it flies off the handle. Um, so I'm dealing with it. Um, I took a break and just kind of focused on um, just kind of being peaceful and uh, just um, spending a lot of time with Joe and, and things like that. Um, and so now it's Sunday morning and I'm off and um, going to church later today and I feel pretty good. Um, and I'm going to make a video because I have a haul. I have a haul from my beautiful, wonderful friend Shara over at Reborn Living Dolls. You guys know she has the best clothes. I bought a Christmas haul from her and so I wanted to show that to you guys. It's November 19th. We're getting closer to Christmas and I am in the mood to try to rouse up some holiday cheer for myself. And so I want to change Luke here into a Christmas outfit. This is Luke. Luke is, was <laughs> my very first reborn. He is the Jade Asleep from Bountiful Baby and he was done by the... Um, incredibly talented Kelly Newcomb from Garden of Eden. He is my precious little man. His full name is Luke Skywalker. Yes, he is named after that Luke. <laughs> I chose this blanket for him. I got these these beautiful muslin blankets from Amazon and I loved this one because it's got all these trees and I was like, oh, it's like the forest of Endor. And then let me show you his lovey. Um, Wait, where is his lovey? Oh, did I misplace your lovey, buddy? I thought I had it. Maybe I don't. He's got this koala lovey, and I like to say that's his little Ewok. I know, you guys. I'm a nerd. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to get him changed into one of these outfits that is in this bag from Shara. So let's open up this bag. Um, so I guess we're doing Sleepy Baby Sunday, since it is Sunday. Um, and he is sleeping, <laughs> so let me cut this open, and we will get into what is in here, and I already see scent beads, <laughs> I have so many scent beads from Shara, I put them in my baby drawers, 
Oh, that smells so good. It's like baby powder. <clears throat> oh, wow. She said she packed this full, and she really did. It is really full. <laughs> it is so full. I think I got everything out. Yes, I did. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> it's the size of Luke. Okay. Let's get this open. And we will see what's inside. Oh, I see lots of Christmas colors. Alright guys, hold on. Look at all the Christmas colors. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Okay, it's enough of that. <laughs> okay, so first we have some adorable little Santa socks. They're little gray socks that have a little Santa face on them. And then a really cute pair of green socks that say, you can't quite see it because it's, you know, it's on the tag still, but it says Jolly Little One. That's adorable. Okay, so first thing is a Christmas onesie. This is, I believe it's newborn. It's newborn. It's a Carter's. Oh, beautiful green, just Christmassy green. It's got Santa flying over in the sky with his reindeer, and it's got a little house, and there's a little smoke coming out the chimney in the shape of a heart. And this came with matching pants. Um, here are really cute little gray pants. They've got the little house on them, the deer, the Santa. That's adorable. I think today I'm going to change Luke into a sleeper. I just want to put him in something cozy. Now this, oh, Shara, thank you for this train sleeper. This is so cute. Shara threw this in for me because she is the sweetest person ever. Um, this is a really, really cute little train sleeper, and it's a Christmas sleeper too, and it has little trains, and it has little uh, pine trees and mountains, and it's got little deer on it, and I know you can't really see the pattern because it's black on like dark green, So, but it, it's really cute. That would look really cute with Luke's coloring. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, the baby would look like a candy cane. This is the red and white striped sleeper. It's got little gray cuffs. It's got the little sleeves. It is a Carter's newborn too. I think these are all newborns, but I'm not entirely sure. And I wanted some more newborn baby boy stuff because that's what I'm low on, is newborn baby boy. Um, back when I was selling babies, um, I had sold a few like newborn size baby boys um, and, uh, yeah, I, I unfortunately sent away too many clothes. <laughs> yeah, not selling anymore, guys. You're not gonna see any more babies for sale. They're, they're all staying here. Um, this is a really cute white sleeper. It's flannel, and it's got, <laughs> it's got an embroidered little Santa that's peeking around the corner right here, but then it's got cute little reindeer and Santas and trees. And it says, my first Christmas. Aww. And on the um, things, it says, my first Christmas. Now, this is not Luke's first Christmas. He's a, he's a, he's an eternal little boy, you guys. <laughs> this is his... This is his third Christmas with me. Oh, my goodness. This is your third Christmas. How old is he? I got him in November of 2021. So he is, oh my gosh, he's two years old, you guys. And isn't he beautiful? He's held up just beautifully. Oh, I love him so much. I love you. Okay. I will tell you that while I've been going through this bad spot of depression, I have been cuddling and holding and changing my boobies a lot. And I've been taking photos and, you know, um, I've still been enjoying my babies every day. So this is a little two-piece set. Oh, this is adorable. This is a little Christmas set. It's cream colored with little red designs. It's got little, um, they look like snowflakes, but they're actually all in the shape of 
bees. Is this a Burt Bees? It is, of course. <laughs> and matching pants. That's really, really cute. That is really, really, really cute. Oh, oh, this is cute too. This is an honest baby set. It is a white top with a gray trim and it's got gray and red kind of snowflake and Christmas designs on it. And a pair of gray footed pants to match and a gray hat. So that's adorable. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to cut him into the Christmas train sleeper because I think that color will be really, really cute on him. You can already tell he looks adorable in red. I love him in this outfit, this cute little teddy bear sleeper that I have that's red. His little onesie has tigers on them. It's so cute. Okay, dude, let's get you into your Christmas sleeper. And I might change him some more before Christmas actually arrives, but it'll only be into more Christmas stuff. Because it's time to start channeling that holiday spirit. Right, buddy? See, it's time to start getting that holiday spirit. I took some stuffing out of him um, to make him, like, uh, a little bit more floppier, and I love it. Because he used to be pretty, he used to be pretty well stuffed, um, which was really cute too. But I like him being cuddlier. Kind of almost made him feel like a brand new baby to me. Okay, let's put him. I'm in my nightgown, so if you see a pink knee, that's me. All right. So, how are you guys doing? Tell me in the comments how you're doing. If you are going through a similar spot like I am with depression, just know that um, I'm gonna be praying for you. And um, it's okay. You are not alone when you go through this. Um, it is doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. We all have our own unique struggles. We all have our own unique battles. For some of us, it's depression. Some of us battle with addiction. Some of us battle with, um, you know, um, a lot of us have, have problems and, and, uh, we're all in this with each other. Our Dolly sisterhood, like, I think, is it, I don't know who does it. I know Linda and Grace say it, but, you know, Dolly Sisters United, you guys, we're, we're together. And so I just want you guys to know that I love you. I'm rooting for you. I'm praying for you. Um, I lift up my friends to God every day and ask him to be with you and to bless you and, um, you know, whatever you're going through, there's another, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, you guys. There's a way through it. Um, there is a song by, I think, Danny Goki. Is it Danny Goki? And it's about there being a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, it's one of my favorite songs, and I can't remember the verse now. I can't remember the name of the verse, but, um, look up Daniel Goki. I wish I could remember the name. Okay. But whenever, sometimes whenever I go through these bad spots or something bad happens, um, I listen to a lot of music to help me. Um, there's this song by, um, oh my gosh, is it Casting Crowns or Mercy Me? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. It's one of those two. But it's, it goes something like, um, I know you're able and I know you can sift through the fire with your mighty hand, but even if 
you don't my hopes and you alone I know the struggle and I know the hurt will all go away if you just say the word but even if you don't my hopes and you I love that song. Sorry, you guys. I broke into song. Well, you know, God put something on your heart, and there's someone who just needed to hear it. I'll just leave it at that. You can cover. You can uncover your ears now. I'm done. I promise. Oh, he's so cute in this green. Hold on. He's gonna disappear. See, he needs a kiss. Yes, he does. He needs a kiss, and he needs his little butt. Padded. Yes, he does. He needs his butt padded. He's a good baby. He's so cute. I love him so much. Yeah, look how he falls now. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Where is your Ewok? There's your Ewok. It's a koala, guys, but we're pretending for Luke. Just play along, you guys. It's an Ewok. Okay. There he goes. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it for today. <sighs> if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> Sorry you had to listen to me sing. Anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Take care of each other. I am praying for you. I love you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.